So you are in the Redefining Community Service and Civic Engagement uh, Workshop, where you will learn how to focus when everything matters, which I think everyone is really familiar with. I think we all have been in that space. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what I didn't practice was how to forward my slide. There we go. <laughs> Welcome. And so I just wanted to, we just wanted to introduce ourselves and we're your hosts, Perry. Hi, I'm Perry Jaqua um, and I am the Director of Community Engagement and Board Services at Northwest Permanente. And for those of you that don't know, Northwest Permanente is the group of doctors that exclusively contracts to, um, with Kaiser Permanente. And so we were the first physician-led medical group globally to become B Corp certified and we're pretty proud of that. Um, and so for me at my job, I work with Cassandra Furlong, who's also our host and she's on the committee there. So thanks Cassandra for being a part of this. We do work on the co corporate social responsibility plan, um, our B Corp certification, as well as supporting the Northwest Permanente Board of Directors um, on strategy and execution. So it's a pretty um, interesting job. Um, a little bit about myself. My undergraduate work was in anthropology and archeology. span um, primarily in the South Pacific in the Marianas Islands and Hawaii and I loved that work and when I moved to Portland I transitioned to technology so IBM and global services um, working on integrating and unifying cultures and mergers and acquisitions in that technological space with platforms and when the dot-com bubble burst um, I transitioned into healthcare and for me it was about transitioning into an industry of service to others and when I think about healthcare, I think about joy and happiness confusion sometimes um, sometimes it's scary and I really feel passionate about taking my skills and bringing them to people when they need it the most and so and I'm really happy to be here talking about civic engagement and having a great partner like Chinoa so Chinoa I'll turn it over to you awesome I'm Chinoa. I work at New Seasons Market and I oversee the philanthropy and the outreach for New Seasons. And I've been there for just over 13 years. So I have really enjoyed my time. It's been amazing. And definitely civic engagement, uh, volunteerism is just, I just love it so much. I'm so passionate about it. So I'm really excited to hear lots of different ideas from this group today. So speaking of for today, we have some desired outcomes. We're hoping that you can help us identify the greatest opportunities for civic engagement in our community, knowing that we're also coming from different spaces, but that we share the vast majority of us, at least from that survey, we share the Pacific Northwest as a common region and actions that we can achieve to, actions we can take to achieve the outcomes that we want. We also, I just love this so much. The BLD is one of my favorite conferences every year, just to be able to connect with everybody. I was really disappointed that it went virtual and had and had to at the same time that I, sorry, let me just get my slide down, that I um, feel like yesterday was so fulfilling. So it was so wonderful to be able to connect even though it was virtual. And then of course, to leave with actual ideas. Um, they can be ones that you've shared or they can be ones that you've learned from everyone that's here. So I, we wanted to start a little bit today by getting just a pulse of where we are as a group. This is something that I have really enjoyed doing in meetings. And one of the things I think that we always used to say to each other is, how are you? How do you feel? And we still say that, but one of the things I've learned is to say, how are you in this moment? Because that moment by moment, those feelings change. So this is going to be a fun exercise. So if you could go to menti.com, that's M-E-N-T-I.com. And you can use a separate tab. You can use your phone if you have it. And then enter the code that's at the top of this slide. So it's 67930008. And I'll read it out in case anybody does at least like me and needs the, the, the audio. 67930008, and you'll just list out your emotions. I think you can enter about um, probably 
four, I think it is, but you can do it multiple times. So if you have a lot of emotions, feel free to put them out there. This is wonderful. So they're auto-populating and it looks like we've got a lot of different ones, which is really fun. Yes, okay, so, and as you know how word clouds go, um, larger word clouds means more people are putting that particular word in. Um, and so one that has kind of stayed, stayed relatively large as, it, as people enter new uh, adjectives or descriptions is overwhelmed. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> overwhelmed, uh, happy and overwhelmed were tied for a while. Inspired is also pretty big, which is amazing optimistic, exhausted and stressed, also overwhelmed, curious, distracted, sleepy, hopeful, nervous, unsure, empowered, supportive. These are awesome. So this is one of my favorite, favorite things um, is just kind of getting that pulse so that I have an understanding of where you're all coming from and I share a lot of these with you as well. So I just wanted to give you kind of a, a, a vision of, of what people are feeling. Um, and it also means we're, we're all coming together. One of the best things about workshops is you have to trust that everyone that's there is supposed to be there. So we're gonna get what we want because everyone that needs to be here is here. So, and bringing all of this with them. So without further ado, I wanna hop over to Perry. and She's gonna lead the next two kind of breakout thought sessions with you. I, I love that. Um, just seeing everything visually for me, I'm a visual learner, so that's really helpful. And um, I really connect with all of those things. Um, so I'm glad that we started there. This actually brought me back to yesterday when um, Dr. Yolanda um, Williams was talking about um, you know, focus on impact and not intent. And when I think about civic engagement in times of uncertainty, I go back to, you know, my, one of my guiding principles, and I know Cassandra and others have heard me say this, is to control the controllables. And so when I think about all of these things that I may not be able to control or uncertain, by coming here to, together today, we are able to create um, in this, this any time that there's any sort of disruption that creates space, and so for me, when I think about this breakout session that's coming up, um, I'm really excited to to talk about what civic engagement means to you. So for me, if I think about civic engagement, I think about it from a health and well-being, um, you know, aspect of you know being healthier and happier, engaged, um, lowering anxiety, increasing you know cardiovascular health, depending on what you're doing, and some of the um, benefits that can help us during times of stress and strain. So seeing that word cloud, I'm like, yes, these what we're talking about here today and leaving with some action, an actionable thought and idea um, is helpful on so many different levels. So I'm really excited about it, um, just to be able to have that creation. So when we go into the breakout session, we're gonna give you guys about 10 minutes. And what we would love is for you to share your name, um, your B Corp, and your most recent community service activity. We would like you guys to find a group leader. So that would be the person with the most recent service um, activity. And then the two questions that we're really um, gonna ask the group to discuss is, you know, what does civic engagement look like or mean to you? in this moment, um, like Tanoa was talking about. Um, it might look different than it did a year ago. Um, and the second part to this is, what does it like, look like for you going forward? You know, because again, we are in times that are changing and I think that this is gonna be a, you know, a really fruitful discussion. So, you know, I think the second part of the question hasn't come up there yet, but it is, what do you think it will look like going forward? So um, we'll have Cassandra break you into small groups and you'll have about 10 minutes. And then when you do come back, we will do a share out session. So we might do some of that verbally. We might do some of that in the chat. Um, and I will pause there and um, 
I think we're ready to go into the breakout. Chinoa, is there anything that you wanted to add before going in? No? Okay. No, I, think that, I think that those are the things that, that will get that conversation going. Okay, great. So Cassandra? So we would love to have some groups share verbally um, you know, what you guys discussed and Chinoa is going to capture this um, on a screen so you can um, see this and we will send this out after the fact. So you don't have to frantically remember all of this. We want you to have that inspiration, those ideas from other groups as well. So who would like to go first? Okay, it looks like Kim, go ahead. I can, I, I was in one of the K groups with Kelsey, Kelly, Kamala, Kelsey and Kim, and um, everyone was just wonderful. We, we really would have loved more time and thanks for explaining why we couldn't have it, but it sparked a lot of things. And people have been working on uh, not as much since COVID, but still their company's hearts are in the right place, but there have been things from cleanups to volunteering for build day to video reviews of uh, friendly pet venues and, and uh, from a video aspect looking at what's happening with wildlife and the outdoors and so just a, a really great group of people who are um, and happily working that's another great thing absolutely that's great oh, i froze up there for just a minute sorry can you hear me now yeah okay sorry i saw my mouth just it stopped um i think that's great kim i think um you know, I'm one of the other things that Chino and I were talking about before we started this session is just the fact that I think a lot of us are building out our plans um, for next year and having to modify those. And so hearing these different ideas is really inspiring. And so even just some of those um, ideas that you were talking about um, was pretty interesting. Is there, do you have anything else that you guys talked about, like looking forward or any, um, any other things that your group talked about? Honestly, it was a little too quick to be forward. Okay. We were still in introductions. And my thing, uh, because it was most recent, was Monday. But I, as a volunteer, run LinkedIn Local PDX, where the mic is, is passed consistently to leaders uh, from the margins. So uh, talking about their brilliance, leadership, and community, and business. Mm -hmm. uh, but just so that throughout a year, everyone in our community will see a leader speaking who looks like them, who they can collaborate with. And because of that, the audience has become more diverse as well. Oh, that's great. Do we have another group that would like to share? If you do, you can take yourself off mute. Okay, if you guys are shy, do you want me to share call about okay. our group? Um, so it sounded like the organizations that already have community engagement embedded into their purpose were able to do things, and then everyone else who does it to the side didn't have as much opportunity because of the peer. Um, mm. But people have plans. <laughs> That's great. So what are some of the plans? Did you guys uh, get that from? Like there was a bit in um, different communities and some environmental stuff kind of spanned across the, across the board. Great. I can share a little bit from um, the M group or a lot of M's. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a couple of themes. One was around um, creating kits for people who might need some hygiene supplies in, in a way. So different soaps and toothbrushes and things. Um, and the employees of that company putting those kits in their cars. So as they're going around, if they see people that might be asking for some support, they can provide that, which is super mm -hmm. cool. And then we had a theme around food and um, whether it's trying to get involved with farms or food banks, um, for a cool organization that uh, I was just educated about, which I'm excited to look into, called Feed the Masses. Oh. I'm writing that down as well. Awesome. 
That's great. Any other group? You can also put it, if you're more comfortable, you can put some ideas in chat real quick. All right. So it sounds like um, this group really enjoyed having a little bit more time. So I'm wondering if we want to shift to the second breakout session, because we've got about 15 minutes left. And so um, what we what we would like to do to know if you're okay with this too, to have us move into the second breakout session so that we can give you guys a few more minutes with that. Um, and if you eat, like, if you feel like you want to talk about a few things um, about looking forward, um, that would be great. The second breakout, we were really looking for, you know, what actions can businesses take to achieve the outcomes that we want? And so we've kind of talked about, you know, civic engagement and looking forward. And now, like, what are the things that are, when we go back, what are some of the actions that, you know, those B Corps that we work with can actually do? Like, what, it, what is there one or two things that come to mind just here? from a few of these groups in the dialogue in your breakout um, and so what we would like everybody to do is you know identify your group leader so the person this time it would be that has the most recent birthday um, and then again that question is what actions can businesses take to achieve the outcomes we want so we'll have Cassandra break us into breakouts um, once again and then we'll bring you back in 10 minutes and then do a quick um, share out again does that sound good Chinoa? Okay, perfect. Cassandra, can you get us back into breakout sessions? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. We tried to give you the full 10 minutes this time, um, you know, to make sure that you had enough time. Um, I know it we only have a couple minutes left in the session, but I would love to hear from you guys, um, you know, the fruit of your uh, a breakout session. So who would like to share what actions businesses can take to achieve the outcomes we want? You can just take yourself off mute. Kelsey, I nominate you, you're our moderator. she sees that for one second okay <laughs> i think i figured it out but um we were talking about like just like ways we can help um and basically we set out we figured out like um donations are a good way always and then um i believe it was gosh i don't see her but someone was saying their business was doing something really cool with internships where like they would reach out to local high schools and colleges and be like this is a career path you can take and like provide those internships, like just basically letting them know that that is an avenue for them in the future. Um, a lot of like environmental, like personal things people were doing. Um, transcribing videos was a really cool one that someone brought up. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names, but someone in my group brought up transcribing uh, like uh, video, no, old letters for a library as a personal action that they were able oh, to do wow. for community service, and there were just some cool ones. If you guys from the group want to add anything, I'm bad at recapping, so. It was, she just made herself as well, it was Kristen who had said the internships. That's awesome. And remember part of our community rules that you don't need to be articulate or eloquent. So we welcome that in the space. So that was great. Thank you. What else did you guys talk about? Um, in our group, and sorry, my video is not on. Um, okay. Two sort of primary themes going was um, student outreach, both to just like get exposure to a lot of potential opportunities that could be within your company. Um, as far as like the sciences or just like really trying to look at all the potential avenues that you had available to um, give exposure to, but also looking at that as a effort towards diversifying um, your workforce and creating the exposure to an opportunity in that realm as well. And then also trying to make um, community engagement more accessible within the organization. Um, by maybe finding opportunities that can be brought on site to those people who maybe like they have to work on site and it's a little harder to find those outside of their work hours. So having a little break to 
do some sort of activity that benefits somebody else and then using that as a sort of platform to get the discussion going more internally so that more people come up with ideas that they want to bring to the table that are important to them to see represented. I love that. That's that's really inclusive, and there are a lot of folks uh, um, that still go to the workplace. Um, you know, for us, our physicians are frontline responders, and they're in the workplace every day. Um, but there are others that that you know do get to work at home, and um, so when we talk about um, <coughs> inclusiveness, I like that idea a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Who else would like? <laughs> Hi, Perry. It's Emily. I'll go. Um, it's great. We had kind of a good mix. We had um, some New Seasons folks, two, two wannabe B Corps, so good job for joining us, um, and architecture firm. And we, I think the main thing I got from that is, um, I think when a company incentivizes it um, with paid time, I, mean, I think that's going to naturally encourage people to join. Um, but then also New Seasons does a good job at matching people. So if you don't really know where you fit in or who can I help out in the community? Maybe they just say, what's your interest? And we know the community partner we can match you with, which is fantastic. Because I think yeah. what yeah. from that organization was, where do you start? Where do you plug in? Where are your interests? And I think that's fearful for a lot of people to, to kind of <laughs> vacillate around that. So, um, and I know at, at Permanente Dental, we did, um, our, our B Corp focus was on the environment um, <laughs> this and last year. So we did, you know, cleanups and things like that. So for us, we focused it on where where are we having a hard time with our environmental piece for the B Corp? Um, how, how do we as a service organization um, reduce our impact? And we said cleaning up is, is a way we can at least get started with that. There's lots more we can do, but we can at least get started with cleaning up and making sure places are safe for people um, to enter yeah. and to access because they are safe, like the, some of the cleanup that we did on the waterfront. Um, awesome. so way to plug in, plug in, in and participate were kind of the key for us. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing, Emily. Um, so I did want to call out that we are a couple minutes over. Um, Chinoa, do you quickly want to um, move into your, um, the last portion? And we'll be quick. You bet. So we were, we were hoping that to be able to share out, but we're hoping that as a, that you'll choose one action to work on and, and one action to be able to move forward on. We know as, as B Corps, all of these different companies and people that are supportive of the B Corp movement and supportive of, of um, the benefit economy, our general culture is to take on everything all at once. It's to say, I wanna have impact. I wanna do all of these things. And for today, my hope is that out of all of the things that you heard in your groups and that you heard shared out, that you really take one action and embody it and, and take it with you. And then it doesn't mean that, you know, once you've kind of internalized that, you can move on and take another and take another and take another. And that's how we move forward. But truly that, that you feel empowered to be strong and pick one thing. So thank you all for joining us. And we'll stick around for a couple of minutes before we go into the next thing, just in case anybody has any questions. Um, our contact information, Perry's and mine, is on the speaker uh, bio. So if you want to reach out, please do. Yep. Thank you very much.